of this tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how you can upload your model to Mixamo and attach poses and animations that you can use in Mamadoff Designer. First, you need to have an internet connection to carry out this particular step. So I already have Mixamo open here. So to open Mixamo, uh, check the link below. I'll leave the website there. But for you, for more references, the website is www.mixamo.com. Mixamo is an online platform that enables developers and artists to let their imaginations run free. You can auto rig your characters and attach poses and animations for free. Mixamo is compatible with some 3D pipelines like Unity 3D, UDK, which is Unreal Development Kit, 3D Max, Maya, Motion Builder, ZBrush, Houdini, and any other 3D pipeline that accepts Colada files, OBJ files, and FBX files. If you have an Adobe ID, there is no need for you to sign up. You can just log in, but if this is your first time of ever having an account to any Adobe software, you just click the sign up button up there and it's going to pop up something like this so you just fill it up and sign up that's just as simple as that but i'm gonna go back because i already have an account so i'll just log in so it signed me in automatically because i've been using it obviously so i'll go to browse animation This is the page that's gonna pop up. And here is upload. Here in upload, I'm going to upload my character. So I'm going to upload the, the character we already designed in Make Human so that I can do whatever I want to do with it here. So you click the upload button and try to find your character where you saved it. So you select character. You find the characters uh, we saved the Colada version and the OBJ version. Now you can't upload the Colada version because Mixamo will not recognize it. But you can save out when you're done with your auto read. You can save out as a Colada file, but you cannot bring it into, into Mixamo as a Colada file. So we select the OBJ version and we save out. Save out your character as Colada or OBJ, but OBJ preferably. So this is our character in Mitzam. So we click on next. And now here is where you set these pointers, just like in the description here, set the pointers so that it will auto-generate the bones and the skeleton for your character. And down here you find standard skeleton, three chain fingers, two chain fingers, low figure. So I just go with the standard skeleton so it can read the whole body, the head, the toe, and the, everything. So I'll select the chain and set and set the point just as it is in the picture of the chain. Yes, then the wrist.
this is our character. Wait, shall we move on next if we're okay with what we have? And you either start animation right away or you view in my asset. So let's view my asset. And now let's generate the model. Now this is our model. So first we we'll save out the model without animation as an FBX file. We save out first without animation yet as an FBX file. So we queue for the load and we select FBX file it equals and that you can use 
to just upload your characters and start rigging. So this is our model in Marvelous Designer. How I imported it, I went to file, I clicked on import, you click on FBX. So you select the cut sequence and you click open. So here you just leave everything as it is uh, at the default state. Well, I'm not going to re-import but if you're at this state just click OK and it's going to bring in your model. Well, I'll cancel it. So how do I confirm if it has the animation? I'll go to simulation and on the simulation I'll find animation and I'll click on animation and once I play you find out that our model came in with the Mizamo animation we assigned to her. But if you notice if you notice at the initial state let's go back to simulation at the initial state it doesn't have a T pose and if you try to design a cloth on this pose it's going to intersect with the cloth and you might not really get what you want you need a perfect T pose when you're designing your garment so how do we get the perfect T pose I usually take the model to motion builder and there I'll force a T pose onto her and then I'll bring her back to marvelous designer and that solves it then I can design my garment perfectly on my model simulate and reattach the textures and all that you know the way we we did it previously to assign the skin and all that that's the same way we do it here so join me in the next tutorial while I take her to motion builder and show you how to force a typos on your model.